Welcome guys, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome guys and welcome to a new Let's Play. So this is Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PlayStation 2. Now um, this is the PlayStation 2 version which came out first, I don't have the PC version, and even if I did I don't really have a way to record it right now. So the graphics definitely aren't going to look as good as they would on PC. You're definitely going to tell once we get to the cutscenes and you're going to see how, like all the motion blur and stuff. Now, this isn't actually the first Grand Theft Auto I played. I started with Vice City, but then I really liked Vice City, and I ended up getting this later down the line. I never played 1, and I never played 2. I never was a big fan of that whole, like, top-down perspective, but this game was pretty cool. Now, um, in order to be able to uh, reliably record this game, unfortunately, I'm going to have to either have the radio turned off, or have it only exclusively tuned to the Chatterbox radio station, which is the the talk show station. Because most of the music, as, as you're probably aware for Grand Theft Auto games, is actual real music. And if my videos get copyright uh, flagged for copyright, then it'll, it'll mute the sound or make the video just completely non-viewable altogether. So, it's unfortunate because the music is a big part of the Grand Theft Auto experience, but needs must. So, it's going to load up my save file, which I, uh, but I'll, I'll be able to start a new game once I get to the, once I get to playing. Yeah, it's unfortunate about the whole radio situation, but can't really be helped. Alright, so this is just a save file I started near the beginning of the game. Okay, let's start a new game. The Liberty City Bank. Criminal shot by girlfriend accomplice. Court finds armed robber guilty by unanimous ver verdict. And he got 10 years for that. Sucks to be him. So our protagonist is a completely mute, except for like a, cr a couple grunts of pain or whatever. So his name is never stated, but I believe it's Claude. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster uh -oh. leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. That's a bomb.
So they're breaking one of their own people aye, out. Aye, get lost. <laughs> Claude, all you did was trip him over. Uh oh. Those guys talking there, by the way. I'm, it's kind of funny because that was, I think, their, like, random mook chatter. When you see them on the streets and stuff. Okay, so we, we, we've got a lucky break here. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so let's change it to Chatterbox. Okay, there's our radar. The blips on the map show us our destinations and such. Alright, so where we're headed to is our safe house. So it's just down this road here. Okay, up this ramp here. Softening life's harsh reality. Tonight, this is the, the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Yeah, orange isn't really our color. When not on a mission, you can save your game here. This will advance time six hours. The garage next door can store one vehicle when you save your game. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Okay, so let's head over to Luigi's place. I didn't even notice I've been hit. After that, I was hooked on Luckily, it's just around the corner. Watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural Selection has come home. Sponsored by Natural Nation. All right, we're back on Chatterbox Club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Okay. Luigi's Girls. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Okay, we'll just chill here. <laughs> like how he kicked the door. That was fast. Say hello to Eight Ball, lady. <laughs> eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. You got it, Mr. Luigi. Now the thing you have to keep in mind about Cl our, our pal Claude here, he is a mercenary for hire. He has no loyalty whatsoever. All he's here to do is to get the job done, and he's out on a mission to get a re revenge on the girlfriend who betrayed him. Everyone knows women are made for sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, so don't think for a second that he has any loyalty to most of the groups that we work for. Alright, so let's go pick up Misty for Mr. Luigi. He's right here at the hospital. You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? Oh, I'm so off. 
I'm so important. Hello, Misty. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this in the top shelf. Hey, what's up? Hi, I'm Misty. Hi, I'm Misty. Why so sad, Kiwi? Oh, that was almost bad. Blew up, almost blew up the car because of that ramp there. Yeah, um, in these games, if your car flips over, there's no way to flip it back. It'll just blow up. So keep that in mind if your car flips. That's a sign to get the hell out of there. Okay, that was easy enough. Got 1500 uh, 1500 go- uh, I can't talk. $1,500 just for that. Alright, now before we do any other missions, a couple things I want to pick up around town. You know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't. I think there's something down here. So, um, if you hold X, you'll, you'll be able to sprint. But eventually you'll run, you'll run out of stamina that way. But instead, if you mash the, the X button, then uh, you can still sprint, but you'll never run out of stamina. I think this is a thing for all three of the PlayStation 2 uh, GTAs. For Vice City and San Andreas as well. Hey, where'd, where'd my car go? That's not good. My car vanished. Well, time to get another one. Alright, so we picked up a shotgun there. I also want to pick up some armor. Well, well, I'm sure. But, but the thing is that when, when, when I was a boy, I, 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 We're also going to pick up a fast car for later. So there should be some armor up this way. probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Okay, not down that road. How old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I can't stop it at the time. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys. Okay, we need to go over these roofs. Anything sane you'd like to bring to the party? Hello, you are on Chatterbox. Oops. I was listening to that call. I didn't mean to start taxi driver. Excuse me, look. How do you expect to be your... Oh, wait, that's just another shotgun. Never mind. I mean, well, we can still get another piece of armor somewhere. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, well, there's two places that you can find shotguns at least. advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after Crazy drivers. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between a cheating right, yeah, let's go this way. And not. Oh, One More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I might have to go for the back, actually. And now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Now thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of abs... Okay, maybe not. It's my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, the revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be... Uh, 
Oh, that's just a rampage. Never mind. This is a revolution in the Irish night. For my people, marriage is how you say sacred. The bond between the father and the mother is made in heaven. I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like the brother. The woman, she must be many, many arms. She's skill in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the baby. And she must be a whore, a vixen, a imaginative, exotic. That's down here. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French man? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement? Exactly. Passion. Danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I give a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman, or even a donkey. Because, because, you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why are they talking about kiss me? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Lazlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a bit different. Okay, anyway, here's where the armor is. Impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman. Okay, so the rampage failed, but I wasn't really trying to pick it up anyway. Alright, the other thing we're gonna grab is a fast car for a mission later. We can get that on the other side of town. Sorry, you were in my way. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. But when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrummy brush, and who knows? Okay, this is the place I wanted to come to. It's also uh, one of the 100 hidden packages in here. Oh, wait, there's nothing in here. Hmm. Maybe they don't show up till later. Okay, let's get to the hideout for now. This will just have to do for now until we find something better. I was too busy looking at the L on the mini map. Okay, let's do our first save.
I'll take your car. Hey, my cop. Not anymore. Okay, let's go to Luigi's. Have been saved and right, so this one's called Don't Spank My Bitch Up. Very rude. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go. And introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. <laughs> okay. So I guess at the time they didn't want to, like, talk about a real drug that was out there. So they just gave it a fake name of Spank. We're going to open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance maybe. All right, so let's go take care of this problem for Mr. Luigi. Give him the compensation that he wants. Oops. Sorry there, dude. Now, the mission says you can use a bat to pummel his face in, but you really don't need to. All you need to do... Is that? Just run him over. All right, so we'll take his car, and we'll go get it sprayed at a paint spray close to where Luigi's place is. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end, big and hairy. But first day, she gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who serves him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. Keep this pay and spray in mind, because it won't be marked on your map normally, I don't think. To save Drive your vehicle in here to lose your wanted level, repair your and respray your vehicle. Cost is a thousand dollars, but this time it's on the house. Hi, Lando. Janet. I love the show. I always wanted to call in. You really offended me. Stash the car in Luigi's locker. Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced him on. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janet, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he's not making that No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, last week. Yes. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is... Okay, 4,000 bucks for us. Wow, they all just jumped right in front of my car. Crazy, huh? Now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word. A travesty. I work miracles. Okay, let's do another one for Luigi. Boy, check out the kind of place he runs. Drive Misty for me. What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leon. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Okay, okay. You already told me that. Who are your people anyway? Uh, Alright, let's go get Misty. Do you come from? I am... I am an actor. 
Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Good thing that didn't Many get that cop's called, attention. You are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? There she is. From us, stay, okay? Do I have money now? I'm not real Latin, but Hello I again, a Misty. real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children. You work a regular for a week in now, huh? It's about time you got to drive on the truck. Oh, you think he trusts me already? You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Oh. Now, you'll notice that right now it's raining. You have to be very careful when you're dri driving around in the rain because of rain physics. It can easily make your car spin out if you're not careful. Oops. Sorry, lady. Alright, so Joey's place is down this way by the docks. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo. Here you go, Misty. This is Joey's auto painting. Be Misty, please. Minute, hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? So if you haven't figured it out yet, we're currently doing jobs for the Mafia. And that's the Don's son, Joey. All right, so we can get missions from here now. The only way to teach them right All right, I can't do these missions yet. Soon that phone's gonna ring and we'll be able to take Make missions from the guy over the exactly. phone as well. Uh, for the time being, let's go back to Luigi. Oh, it's a close call. I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Let's Pump action pimp. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnon Nation opposite the subway. Okay. Ammunition. Ooh. Perfect. I'll be taking this. Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. Killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration does continue, we will all be All right, so this is the gun shop, ammunition. Luigi said you'd need a piece. So go around the back of the shop. I left you nine in the yard. Oh, why, thank you. Okay. R1 is target. circle button is fire. We don't really need to fire. Ah! Dang it! I didn't mean to target you! I'm sorry! I was trying to change my weapons. I accidentally targeted him. Targeted him. All right, so let's go chase after that Diablo pit. Looks like he's down this road currently. Now, he is armed with a shotgun, so the easiest thing to do is lure him out of his car and then run him down. Oh, 
Gotta run! Oh, that's gonna cause a chain reaction. Hey, a beeper. So much devastation. How could this tragedy have been averted? Hey, wait! Give me your car! Or, or not. He took my car. Not anymore! Ugh. You shut up. Stupid. Oh, he's stuck in a pickup truck. Now, if we're going to commercial, is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take... Very rude. All I'm doing is taking your car. Anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. Injury attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards. Right, uh, let's go ahead and save. It's been a few missions since you saved. Train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponzer and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on chatter.